Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy what we put together for you. Uh, today we're gonna talk about catching big brown trout at night. Um, we got some footage of us catching big brown trout and then I'm gonna give you a little first, I guess I'm gonna give you a setup of how we catch them, the, the, how we set it up and hopefully this can help you catch uh, big brown trout at night as well. So I uh, asked in uh, this trout fishing forum I'm on if people would like to see exactly how we're catching these brown trout at light, night, um, not just us fishing. So I'm gonna give you just a quick uh, rundown on what we're using for gear and how we're catching those trout. And then after that, you'll see some footage. And uh, I think there's a wrap up there too. So anyway, we are using a six pound test which I know a lot of guys that trout fish are going to say six pounds a little heavy. Um, but because we're throwing this big bobber here, we're going to use six pound test. So what we're starting off with is a little treble hook. Can you see that? Using a small treble like this. And the reason we're using this little treble is that we're... Hmm... I wish I had some, I wish I had a gummy fish I could show you how to do this. But you're hooking the third, one of the, the hooks in the back of the, the shiner with the other two hooks exposed. And then when the trout's taking it, just holding it in his mouth, we're hitting him quick and we're getting a really good hook, hook set up. And I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, you're not using circle hooks and stuff. But the circle hooks and the J hooks, because the, uh, the shiners we've been using are this big, by the time they get it way down in their gut and then you, and, and the, and the shiner itself, the, the, the hook barb and stuff kind of gets stuck in it. So if you just put it lightly in, then you're constantly casting the shiner off. If you know what I mean, like when you go to cast it out, it tears off. So you got to get the hook in deep enough to keep the, the um, shiner on. But if you have the single hook in deep, then when the trout hits it and you try and set the hook or pull it out slowly with the circle hook, it doesn't tear out right, so you miss all the hookups. So because we're using a big shiner, we're using these treble hooks, these small treble hooks. We're hooking it just lightly in the back, but we're burying that whole, you know, there's three, I guess, shanks. There's three shanks, so we're burying one whole shank deep enough in the, in the shiner so that when we're tossing him out, he's not uh, ripping off. So then up from the, uh, the treble hook, about, I don't know, what's that, nine inches, putting a single uh, tin split shot there. And that just kind of gives a little extra weight that keeps that shiner from swimming up to the surface, kind of keeps them down low. Then we're going up the line, I would say, well, depending, but we're running about three feet, four feet above the, the, the weight, and we're putting these bobbers. And uh, these bobbers are uh, these lighted ones, night bobby. And the, you know, you just, you put the battery in, obviously, tight, tighten it up and it turns on, Untight, untighten it, loosen it, and then it shuts off. Um, the only problem with running these bobbers is that they're meant for a little heavier line than six pound. So if you look on the bobber, can you get in on this, Alex? If you just put the thing through, there's these two little grooves right here like that, where it's supposed to line up, it's gonna slide. See how it slides like that? So instead, we're pulling it down, we're wrapping it around once, around the bobber stem there, and then bringing it back up through until she clicks, and then she's not sliding. Now the problem with that is you gotta remember, just screw whatever you're doing together. If you, if you wrap the line around like that, it's gonna put a little bit of stress in the line, so you no longer have your full six pound test. It probably drops it down. I don't know what it actually drops it down. So you just don't wanna put the boots to the fish. But that's the reason, like if we're using four pound test and then wrapping it around, we'd have like two pound test and you'd be losing fish left and right. And like, um, I know a lot of you that fish for trout, you're gonna say six is heavy, but um, when you're chucking a, I mean, we're chucking a big shiner here, well, I can go get one. We'll shut the camera off. All right, so these are the shiners that were, ooh, shiners are dying on me. These are the shiners we're using. They're a pretty good size shiner. So see that in comparison, they're almost as big as the bobber. And that's the reason that we're using those, uh, the treble hooks, because if you put this on a regular hook, they tear off. 
So those are the, that's what we're doing to catch these brown trout. Uh, so like I said, we're using this little treble hook, a weight, one of these lighted bobbers, and uh, we're casting them out. Where we're fishing them, we're fishing them like, you wanna go to wherever you're going, you wanna go to the spot where the water kinda goes out and then it drops off. Right on the edge of that drop off seems to be the best spot. Um, but then some days they move in, the darker it is, the shallower, the shallow, shallower the fish seem to be. So if there's no moon and there's no lights from like surrounding houses and whatnot, then you can fish even shallower. Like you can shorten it up so you can be in like two and a half feet. The lighter it is, the deeper they seem to like. Um, some of the nights we put them so that the, the bait is like within a few inches of the bottom and some of them we're putting about mid column. So like when we're running between Annie and I, we have four rods. We'll put like two close to the bottom, two mid column, and then we'll see how that goes. And if the mid columns are the ones that seem to be getting the hits, then we switch them all to the mid columns. If the bottom ones are seeming to be the ones that are getting the hits, we drop them down to the bottom. So basically, if you follow that, you should be able to catch brown trout uh, at night. Um, the one thing, and here this is the most important thing. I mean, the tackle, this setup is works great. The most important thing that you can do is make sure the place that you're fishing has big trout. I know that's you think every pond does, but it's not true. When the state is stocking ponds, certain ponds get bigger trout. So you gotta listen around at tackle stores, uh, local people, and find out what are the ponds that the, the, the state actually puts the largest brown trout in. Because the stock trout, there's not a lot of feed in New England ponds, like uh, herring or alewives or shad or um, smelt that would make the, the fish you know, naturally grow big. So really the fish that, are, the fish that have big trout are the fish they put big trout in. I know that sounds super simple, but check on the web page. Make sure that the, uh, on the mass web tape, make sure that they're stocking brown trout. And then kind of ask around and, and look like, I look at the state records and uh, for the past few years and see where the big fish have come out of. Because uh, historically, the stocking people put the same, or put the big fish in the same ponds over and over. So those are the secrets. Try this rig. You should be catching brown trout at night, no problem. And, um, just make sure that you're in the pond where they put the big trout because you can't catch big trout in a place if they don't put them in there or they're not in there. So you're going to show it how you did it. I just showed you how I did it. Oh, I mean, you see us. Yeah. And then here's the footage of us fishing and having a good time. And um, put in the comments how you like. I do not like doing this. I like just talking while we're fishing and doing stuff. But because it's nighttime and stuff, it's kind of hard to show how we set up. I don't like doing this. It feels forced. It feels weird. But I think we've really covered exactly what we're doing. And if you do this, you, you should be able to catch big brown trout too. And if you do, put in the comments or post some pictures. We'd love to see them. Holy dog. Get out in the light, please. Get out in the light. Hang on. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is a brown. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Andy's Ooh. first fish of the night. How Did big it? is he? I don't know. A pound? Nice. Hopefully not the last. No. That's a smoker. Nice. That is a good trout. Yeah, it is. Get him over. I threw out. Yeah, he hit almost almost immediately. Uh oh, you're gonna have to love him a little more. That is a good trout. Yeah. He's, well, he's a pound something. Yeah. I didn't know that. I don't know if you can see, but Andy's bobber is getting a little love out there. See that little red thing? Oh, there goes a little bump, a little bump. Oh, it's going down. Oh, he's down, he's down. Someone's taking it. A whopper. Come on. Tighten up. Got him? Got him. Right, hold on. Andy's on. I can't do anything. <laughs> Fight. 
Good, good fight? Nope. Let's just line up the light. Here he comes. It's a rainbow. What are you doing? Nighttime rainbow. Well, thank you to give me back my shiner. How come I can't do anything? <laughs> Here, ta-da! Oh, I gotta stuff the stuff the line up the camera and the. It's you got it. I can see me. There you go. Nice. Oh, that wasn't much of this trout. And he's tearing it up. This one might not be that good. And this one looks like he might be uh, hooked, hooked in the gullet. Let me get my. Is he fubar? He ain't gonna make it. Oop. That'll rot up. Yeah. Buy a little trout. Rather than yank, if you just cut it off, he'll be fine. Oh, I don't know if you can see Andy's light out, his bobber out there, slowly moving. Andy's on fire tonight. I can't do anything. Got him? Got him. All right, there we go. I'm putting on the light. Oh, there's a little bit of a bend in the rod. Yeah, this is I a guess heavier fish. This is a better fish? Feels like it, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how I... I'm going to go over here. Oh! He dropped it right at the water. Let's see if I... Oh, there he is going out. You can... Holy crumbs! See that torpedo? Oh, you can't see it out. Probably about a 19-incher. Ah, oh, we lost him. Okay. Matt's got his out here. I don't know if you can see him or not. Go ahead, reel it. Got him? Uh, I don't know. I don't nope. like it. No, I nope. don't have him. Get it back out there. I to. Hold on, I'm just checking my bait. Oh. He was dinking with it for a while there. Yeah. I knew it. I felt that happen. You cast it shallow enough to get it back. It's right there. Get him. Get him before he wakes up. Oh. You little punk. <laughs> get him. Nice. <laughs> oh, uh, we are here at a uh, an undisclosed uh, pond on the Cape. We are doing a little bit of uh, night fishing for brown trout. Word has it that the brown trout come in uh, in the evening and into the night and cruise close to the shore. Some of the larger fish, and we've heard some. You got some, a fish on? I didn't mean to interrupt what? your thing, but go. One of your bobbers is looking Which pretty one? suspicious. Oh, yep. Oh, let's right. go check it out. Let's go over. Let's go together. I see it moving. This one. So, I don't know if you can see his bobber out there. It's that little red light dingling in the... Dingling? I don't know if you can see the bobber out there, but it, I'll try and hold still. and it's, it's, it, See, it's moving, barely moving in the... You got him? Oh. He, and he's got him. I'll put my light on. Oh, you still got him? Yep. All right. I'll get on you. There's not much to see. Oh, you can hear it. Yeah. You can hear it. Coming in. Do they come in just like a shoe? They're not big fight. Ooh, there it is. I'll get in on this. Ooh, another nice brown. Good grief. Closer. He's a little thinner than the last one. And he's got some... Uh, Got some looks like on him. See those lines? Oh, wait, I got water. Hold on one second. If you look at this brown trout here, see those like here, here, and here. Where he's been clawed by an osprey, but he somehow survived. So I'll let Andy get the hook out of this, and I'm gonna check the other baits. Come here. Come on. Hold it. Push my finger. Nope. 
There he is, Andy. Let me shut my lid off. There we go. Well, he's kind of he's kind of lean. Very Look at his tail. Nasty. His tail is kind of weird. So if anyone ever catches him, they'll see him again. But he's got a nice hook jaw. And he's missing the end of his nose. And he's missing the end of his nose. From the osprey attack. From the osprey. Let him go. He's he's fine. Yeah, he's easing his way up. All right. So Andy, how many is that for you this evening? That's that's two browns, plus I lost one, and then um, two rainbows. And so I have had nothing, not no. even a sniff. And Andy's he's dumped a monster. He's caught so a big one. I, I think one. we got that on. But this so this is our second night trying it. It's pretty successful, I yeah. have to say. And it's it's much warmer than it was the other day because I put on more appropriate clothing. <laughs> and you know, we're going to show. First we'll, it was freezing, but it did snow that night. It was yeah. snowy rain, so it was worse. We'll show you the footage there. It'll be some of the footage you'll see. Uh, my uh, grandpa was there. Ethan was there. Ethan caught a nice fish. Um, but tonight it's just Andy and I, and we're just fishing shiners um, after work, and uh, it's been pretty productive. Two years ago, no, a year and a half, two years ago, there was a fella had um, uh, fish mounts that were his father's. They didn't fit in his, um, they didn't fit in his, the decor of their house. So I bought them on Craigslist. We drove up, got them, came back, and uh, one of the things is a six pound uh, brook trout that's been mounted. Brown trout. Excuse me, brown trout. Um, and so we're trying to reverse trophy. We're going to have the trophy already mounted. We just have to find the fish that fits the trophy now. Hey, it's me, Matt. Uh, we've been here for almost an hour. It's cold. Andrew has had six fish, I think, and I have had nothing. Not a nibble. I think I had one sniff, so I can't say nothing. Uh, try and keep the lights on me so people can see me. I was doing what you were doing. I know. it's, But nothing's happening. Uh, like I said, we're here. We're doing a little night brown tr trout fishing, and... Uh, I'm just talking right now, hoping that while I'm doing this, the fish will bite my bait. Is, is it working? No. All right, Andy appears to be on again, maybe. He's got to bring it tight. You get him? Ooh, yeah. Good fish? Oh, yeah. All right. That's a good one. Oh, stay with it. Stay with it. I'm yeah. taking their spot. Your spot is better than my spot. I haven't had a single stay fish thing yet. Stay with it. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Still got him? All right, I'm gonna yeah. switch out here to look for the fish. Ooh. He's red. Oh! Fish, rush out and see the picture. I got him. All right, you get the light up? Yeah. Oh! Finally, Matt right. is on. It has been he's, a long time coming. He's fighting him. He's getting him in. We were just talking about, actually, Matt was saying he wanted to trade off every <laughs> other fish you, uh, that we catch. The other guy gets to reel in. And I think it's a whole, I don't know, he's a fighter. It is a, a it's a little brown. Yeah, wow, nice spot. Real pretty fish. Where's my rod? Yeah. Yes, nice on the board. Finally, gotta check my where's your um, use your, your cell phone. Hang on, I'm getting it. I can't be your everything. These nice. Are... Hold them up, Matt. Hold on. Look at that. It's not even... <laughs> nice. All Whoa, right. Oh, come again. Matt's on the board. And there goes Matt's fish. Go right into water. Back into the briny deep. Nice. Letting this guy eat. Is it on the surface or not? I think it went down. This, my, it's taking off the slack in my line. Your line is on the bottom. Oh, I'm on. Oh, yeah. Right. Don't lose it now. All right. He's swimming towards me. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he just got another one. Oh, Matt. He was there for a second. Oh, no. Oh. It's been a little while I think so. since our latest, uh, our last uh, hit, see, so that would have been nice, you Matt. You gotta... 
Shoot, you gotta set it. You gotta really hit the hook. I think we're not. The snack back. All right. Yeah, I think you gotta hit it. I don't know. I feel like I, that's how I pulled it out of their mouth last Excuse time. Me. Oh, that's gonna be a good. Ah, uh, you see that? Oh my oh, line. Sorry. Me. I'll give you an interview on this. You just lost it. Oh, is my light on? It's blinking away on the top of your head. <laughs> oh my word. Better? Yeah. Uh, so I had, <laughs> I've had one small trout this big. Andy's had one this big, this big. <laughs> Andy's been crushing it, and then I, I've lost multitudinous trout. Oh man, that's bright. And um, right now, I let the last one, I can't decide, do you want to really set the hook or just kind of, eh. so I think the next one, I'm just going to really like lean into it and see what happens. Nice. But it's not been a good evening for me. We still but it's have, been a good evening in general though. Yes. We've oh, had five, Sorry. What, we've had five trout. Yeah, something like that. We had five trout and at least four pickups. So nice. And here we are. We're like, like I said, we're undisclosed pond here in Wareham, somewhere just south of Falmouth, near Sandwich, just in the other, other side of, of Wellfleet, right near Truro, uh, in the National Seashore. All right. Oh, Matt's setting the hook on this one. Yeah, I am. Like the last two. I... Ooh, that's a better fish. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to say. <laughs> All I know is I finally hooked one. I got one. Nice. After my, my earlier failure at the cave. Sounds bigger. Yeah. Let's take a look. Is it a trout or is this? Yeah, it's yeah, a trout. I thought it was a bass. No. It's him! It is. <laughs> what are the chances? It's the same trout as back. <laughs> Uh, we, I caught this trout about an hour ago. Oh my god. <laughs> and there's no mistaking him. It has this missing spot on his tail. <laughs> Look at that. It's got like a mermaid tail and a missing nose. Yep. He's did back. We get, did we get a good picture with this one? Did you want to? No, I don't want to do an interview of how good you're. Here I, I am catching Andy's leftovers. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. All right, I'm going to let him go. Oh. Now. You wondered if that last release was a good release. Yeah. Obviously it was, because he's fine. Oh, oh, there he is here. Oh, good grief. <laughs> it's time to start trading. <laughs> Every other fish. What is it? It is a rainbow? Yeah. <laughs> Say that again. I like the high-pitched like voice that, I that went with that it. All night. <laughs> it ain't much, that's for sure. It's a the daytime rainbow. No. That one there looks familiar too. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a, um, see it right there? Yeah. He's got a osprey marks on him, yeah. Good grief. Oh. Nice. This thing so ate, this thing ate like a, it's like, like a five or seven, it's like a seven, probably a six inch shiner. Adios, buddy. There he goes. Things have really changed. Matt is getting fish now. I'm getting jack squat. Oh, that's a nice one. Let's do a sideways pick me. Measurement is exactly 19 inches. <laughs> oh, he is. <laughs> it's the same one. He's the one from next door, yeah? Just carefully in, in there. And the, you know, for, I was afraid that this was gonna be a, a problem. But it's not hurting them at all. No, the treble hooks are working very well. If you could just get it out there. I'm inside his plate, so I'm not hitting his. Yeah, <sighs> there you go. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Hit me with your phone, please. Another nice one. This is the uh, brown trout that Andy bought the mount that we're trying to reverse uh, get. So when we do catch one this big, whoever catches it's going to put it on their wall. It was originally caught by some dude. His, his name's not on it. His name's it? on it, but the weight was. So in case you're curious, there it is. Uh, 
six pounds something. Six pounds in 2014, six pounds even. So that's what oh. the, the the joy our our plan is. This is a six pounder, and uh, that's the, this is the brown trout that we're trying as we're out there freezing. This we're trying to get. Look at the hook on that. Mm. And if anybody here in the uh, wants to put in the comments where you know we can catch a fish like this, we'd love to come up and uh, fish with you. Maybe <laughs> catch that fish. Catch a fish. Maybe take you out for a sandwich, buy you a cold beer, or you could be featured on our illustrious channel. So this is the fish we're trying to catch. Uh, we fell pretty short today.